bro. We hanging over the Midwestern meats. I've never been to a butcher shop before in my life. This is my first time going to an actual butcher shop. But ever since I started doing the carnivore, I've been reading in like groups that I've been subscribing to and stuff. People are like, you gotta go to a butcher. The butcher's the best. So I'm kind of stoked, kind of excited. The only kind of butcher I know is the ones on the cartoon. They have all the sausages hanging, you know, little stores. But we're coming over here to Midwestern Meats, bro. We're gonna check them out. I'm kind of excited, bro. See how this butcher shop is. Wow, we're over here at Midwest Meats. My first time at a butcher. Bro, All right, we are back. Show you guys what we got here. Some top sirloin, dude. It was kind of pricey. The pricey. Other places I've been, they look beautiful, bro. Like two real ones. They're in here. I bought these today. Oh, that looks good. Oh, that looks Mmm. Oh, bro. Mm. I love it. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Bro, the fat just melts in your mouth like butter, like cotton candy. Mm hmm. Mm. Bro, that was really, 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 really good, man. I got two more in the fridge, bro, for tomorrow, man. I had to share the other one with my wife, but I think I'm gonna go back there again. The other's a pretty good meat, bro. I probably move over there, grab a prime rib for Thanksgiving or Christmas. It looks like a good spot for meat. They have a lot of sausages, some ground beef. They have like heart liver and patties and filet mignon. It has a bacon wrapped filet mignon. But you gotta be like kind of extra rich or something because the prices are kind of high. But good steak is, bro. Even at Costco, you get like two, three pieces of steak. It's already like 65 bucks. So you pay for what you get. And these, this bro, these steaks look so beautiful, bro. Mm. Anyhow, we gotta go and get our exercise on, but I'll catch you guys later, man.
soon. We're on week 11 right now. Right now, I'm going strictly just beef, salt, and water. So I've been eating today is just beef, salt, and water. <gasps> and that's it. I cooked a whole bunch of steaks. That's just what I've been eating and a bunch of hamburgers. Even this evening, my kids was hungry. I was kind of hungry too. I was like, I'm gonna barbecue a second time. Why do you barbecue twice today, man? It felt good, but I love barbecuing. It's one of the reasons why I love the carnivore diet so much. We can barbecue all the time. Bro, we weighed ourselves this morning, 349. We gained weight. But we, I, I took proof, bro. I got proof, bro. We got 346. That's what we hit. I think it was Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday. I got it. And I was like, later on in the week, I was like, what? 351? What? 350? 349. I'm like, oh. I mean, I'm becoming familiar with the with the fluctuations in the weight, yeah. It goes down, then it goes up, and it's going to come back down again. So I'm not worried. I'm just kind of slightly disappointed because you see the numbers like, oh, 346. And here we go again. But I've been noticing a lot of teams, bro. If I if I would have known that that's what this diet does, I would have took pictures. I didn't take nothing. I was just taking pictures of the scale. I didn't even take like body measurements, nothing, because I was I, I didn't think I'd be on it that long. I I thought I'd be like I ah, give up after a week or two. But after the first day, I felt the full effects, bro. I was like, keep going, bro. We stay on this thing, bro. I had this mole on like my midsection, like right over here, yeah. I didn't say nothing about it because I didn't want nobody to worry because I was like, man, I hope it's not cancer, bro, or something like that, yeah. My wife was at the doctor and they were talking about moles and I was like, something's like, oh, tell her about the mole, bro. I was like, I, I, I didn't want them to do all kind of funky tests on me, so I was like, I didn't do it. And it's always been there. I tried digging it out myself, but I, I dug it out one time. It was painful and it grew back even more like intense. So I was like, gosh, things didn't feel like tales from the crypt. The guy who touched the meteor started growing mold all over. But I was like, I thought to myself, like, bro, this thing is not good. Anyways, um, it's been 10 weeks. I've been occupied with lots of things. I've been swimming. I've been getting some sun. I've been eating meat all the time, increasing my fats, increasing my protein, no sugar, no carbs. And like I'm noticing, like my veins are, are thinning out, like my uh, my varicose veins that are coming down. I had these veins in my feet; they were like all black, and they turned kind of like magenta, purple, and then other kind of like looking healthy, like green, greenish blue kind of veins. And I'm like, man. And the one thing I noticed was that mole that I had here. But I came out the shower, and I was like, rubbed myself down, yeah, with my with my oil and stuff like that. And I was like, I came over here, and I was like, I didn't feel it. It used to feel like sandpaper, bro. And I was like. I was like, where is that thing? I kept searching, searching. I looked down, I was like, what the frick? And I found exactly where it was, but it was like, it looks almost like it's just a blemish now. It's like, I took a picture of it, bro, but I was like, it used to be a fool. I'm like, you could scratch it. Like, it was like, it had like a shark skin kind of a feel to it, man. It was rough, like sandpaper. But now that thing is just fading into a blemish, bro. I was like, what? So even though the weight loss is kind of on the slow side, Compared to like keto, it's kind of just rapid. Yeah, this is kind of slow. But I figure this is the body healing. We did an eight day water fast one time. And you're talking about the stages of healing, how your body uses up sugars. And it starts like scouring all throughout your whole body, looking for things to burn up for fuel and burn up as rubbish or whatever. And it, you have like old scar on your bones, scar tissue. That, that stuff gets repaired, dissolved and fixed. But I read about that kind of stuff when you do the water fasting. I was telling my wife, I was like, this freaking carnival diet feels almost like it's like the exact opposite of the Gerson therapy, where it's like no meat, no fat, just plants. And we did the Gerson therapy. We lost like over 100 pounds. I was over 500 pounds. We did the Gerson therapy. We just juiced for like three, four months. But so like, this is almost the same way. Um, I think you're just like getting rid of all the toxins and the, the you're burning up all that junk in your body so it's not just fat loss but it's like you're, you're healing and healing takes some time so I'm starting to become familiar with this process so the the expectations and um, the hopes that we have are starting to gear more towards like healing and health and else <laughs>